Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a timeless, strictly love reading in the Random Reads category. Now, I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel. I greatly appreciate you. So, yeah, as I was saying the spiel, you guys saw those kids over there terrorizing the birds. <laughs> unsupervised children. I have no idea where their parents are. Those kids cannot be over 10 years old. So, I don't know how that works. Mm. Anyhow, you guys, this is a strictly love reading, okay? I've uh, decided that I wanted to, you know, do a reading <clears throat> strictly about love and, you know, the positive side of love, right? Not about heartbreak, but we'll see what's going on, okay? We are here in Tennessee, and this is a Bowie Park. This is an absolutely beautiful park. And the people that I've run across here, absolutely beautiful people, okay? The people who uh, you know, walk in their dogs, just doing their thing, you know? I'm going to start out here with the uh, Gypsy Cards. You know, I've been gui guided to use these. Uh, they've been bugging me for days, but I just haven't felt to do, but today we're going to do it. So we're going to find out what the gypsy has to say starting out with this reading. I'm going to get three cards from the gypsy and see what does a gypsy have to say in regards to strictly love, right? This is for those of us who are single, looking strictly for love in our lives, right? <clears throat> I mean, you could be married and looking for it if you're in an unhappy marriage, but my suggestion to that would be, you know, end what you are not happy with so you can start something new, right? And check it out. Somebody is going through some sort of loss. Now, this could be money loss. Look at somebody maybe have been gambling and they may have lost some money over this, you know, whatever. You see how the people are gambling or playing cards, whatever. So somebody may be experiencing some, some sort of loss, but look at right after that, we have the gift card. So maybe, you know, and it's usually like, you know, some when something gets really, really bad, then you know how, you know, can it get any worse? Sometimes it can, but sometimes, you know, that may have been the worst and you're headed towards something new, a new gift, some sort of happiness or something, right? So that's not too shabby. Okay, just want to get one more card. Let me get one more card. All right. Oops. Hope. So now I'm feeling something. Somebody may have suffered a loss. Maybe it could have been a relationship. But I have a feeling that that person is not too happy about that loss. So they want to bring in a gift to somebody and they're hoping... They are just hoping that things could be fixed. That's something that I'm feeling here, you guys, you know? You know? Look at that at the bottom of this deck, ecclesiastic. So somebody may, somebody may actually be coming uh, more spiritual, more into their religion, something like that. <clears throat> so next I have here, this is the White Sage Tarot. I haven't used these in a while. These are pre-shuffled. Let's go ahead and find out what is the general energy of whoever's catching this video, All right? Strictly love. Tell us strictly about love. Now remember, you guys, take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't manifest, you know, weirdy stuff into your life, okay? Here we go. General energy for this Strictly Love reading, timeless, is. Whoops. We have the Hermit. 
So definitely somebody here is going into some sort of deep contemplation, going within to find answers. How can I make this happen? How can, you know, this work, right? Let's see. Let's see what the tarot has to say for this. Strictly love reading. All right. First out, the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So somebody is, you know, not very passionate. This is an angry individual. The Queen of Wands in reverse is angry. She's mad. She has no passion. She lacks passion. No drive. No goals. You don't want to hang out with her. She's also somebody that just doesn't like to work with others. Right? Does not work well with others. Three of Pentacles. Okay. What else do we have here? There will be no clarification on these cards. I will be uh, strictly doing uh, intuitive. We have the hanged man in reverse. This individual may actually... Um, this individual may actually have pulled themselves out of some sort of situation. That's where this loss is, right? They have the loss, but then they turn around. They are able to be gifted or have a gift or hoping to have the gift. And it could the gift could actually be an individual that, you know, they're wanting to work with. But if it's this Queen of Wands, she don't want to work with no one right now. Not at this present time. She herself may have been in this contemplation and has actually pulled herself out of being stuck in a situation. Either her or someone else. Someone in the environment. What else do we have here for this Strictly a Love reading? Strength. There she is. There it is. So she definitely is angry. She may not be like that with everyone, but it does show here she doesn't work well with others. It might just be the people she's around. You know, if you're around a lot of toxic people, the best thing for you to do is to figure out how to get yourself out of it, right? Right. And I think that's what she's doing. She's having the strength to get out of this because she may have suffered a loss. She may have suffered a loss by working with others. So she's having maybe the strength to... Well, let's see. What else do we have here? Yeah, she's going to have the strength to take a leap of faith into another direction, right? Um, the thing is, is it might be with someone from the past. So this um, Queen of Wands in the reverse may not work well with others. Trying to have the strength to move along right but moving into a direction to take a leap of faith with someone so this person actually this queen of wands reverse may have uh, currently been dealing with individuals who were toxic deceptive people who made her angry people that she refuses to work with why because you know maybe they were not good maybe they were not you know virtuous or whatever the case um, but they were not good people it caught it left her in hangman mode Right? But she pulled herself out of it. She had the strength to do that because maybe this really dragged her down. You know, obviously it did. If she put her in the reverse, angry individual, doesn't want to work with people. You know, wants to maybe be a hermit because she had a bad experience. But I think she's having the strength to overcome that and to take a leap of faith. And you know what's crazy is I'm feeling she, she may want to take a leap of faith with somebody from the past. Maybe the new people that she's been meeting haven't been quite what she thought uh, they would be and is starting to think about how things were in the past. Yeah, the tower moment came in, and that's why. She didn't want to deal with these, you know, people who are making her that angry individual, right? She may have even took a leap of faith to try to, you know, work something with them, but for some reason... You know, it didn't work out. And it, it kind of made her kind of cold, angry, not wanting to work with anyone, making her the hermit because of not having trust in others. She may have suffered a loss. And somebody may have even promised gifts, hoping this, that, and the other. But I think what happened here is a tower came in, does not want to deal with individuals who make empty promises. Why? I think it's because they're burdensome. They cause burdens in her life. 
They make all these false promises and they don't follow through. So this is what has caused loss or upsetness to this Queen of Wands. I thought this was strictly love. I guess not, right? Let's see. <clears throat> Let me see what else comes out here. What else is coming out here for this strictly love reading? I'm trying to hear about love, you guys. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. That could be that this person may take a leap of faith in their own direction, not working with some certain individuals, right? And may decide to work on their own her own stability. Right? So somebody could have actually been dealing with a Queen of Wands who doesn't work well with others, right? For some reason or another, maybe because she's overly angry. And from there, we have the Queen of Pentacles, right? And the Queen of Pentacles is about stability, sharing a very giving and nurturing individual. So this person may uh, either meet up with this person or this person may take a leap of faith, have the strength to move along on their own, causing a tower moment to this burden that was in her life and maybe transforming herself into this queen of pentacles, finding stability on her own. You know, the queen of pentacles can also be a widowed lady. You know, so she could be single. This person says, you know, now this could be her energy at the start. And this is what she ends up as Queen of Pentacles. Or this Queen of Wands is somebody that the Queen of Pentacles was dealing with who does not want to deal with anymore because she's too angry. She has no goals. She doesn't work well with others. So that's why I think something is happening here also. Somebody could have went into hermit mode to try and figure out how can I get out of this? And they got out of it. They brought the tower moment in. Why? What was their explanation? You are a burden in my life. And I'm going to go ahead and move in a different direction and try to find joy and happiness that way and stability. And I think that's what someone did. So when it comes to strictly love, I think somebody is strictly loving themselves. Two of Wands. You see that? Somebody did have a conversation. They had the strength to have the conversation with this Queen of Wands that you're a burden. And I don't want to deal with angry people. Right? Right? Once she did that and she moves along into a different direction, brings the tower in, ends the toxicity of those people, check it out, the lovers. This queen of pentacles is going to find a lover, taking a leap of faith on love in a different direction. Right? This could be same-sex relationship, or this could be male-male, female-female, female-male, whatever, however it is. Somebody here is definitely choosing to find love in a different direction. <clears throat> and is going to tell this Queen of Wands reverse, thank you, but no thank you. Okay, let me get a final card here. Eight of Pentacles, yeah. So somebody is definitely not going to work on something with someone. Right? With themselves, actually. Sorry, my bad. This Queen of Pentacles is not going to work... Uh, on this relationship because the queen of wands needs to work on herself but she is refusing to and that's why the queen of pentacles brought in this ending yeah that's what i'm seeing here so the queen of pentacles definitely had that conversation with the queen of wands you know flip-flop the genders or energies how you need to because it was a loss it's it's just she's saying you know what it's it's hopeless it's useless for me to work with you because you have no goals you're an angry individual you cause burdens in in my life i'm just going to end it with this tower maybe this queen of wands never thought that there was going to be an ending but there was and this tower represents i don't want to deal with you anymore i don't want to work with you i don't want to do it I'm going to take a leap of faith into another direction and I'm going to work on my own stability and my own happiness. And once that person does that, has this conversation, boom, the universe will bring in a lover, right? Because somebody does not want to work on themselves. So that means that somebody is not going to move forward. And it's most likely that queen of wands. Mm -hmm. Also, somebody here in this hermit mode, if it's not, not either of these people, somebody could be looking at both of these people and realizing the Queen of Wands is a burden and the Queen of Pentacles is a lover, right? But this Queen of Pentacles, you know, they need work on themselves too. 
Both of these individuals need to. They both need to. This person needs to find love in themselves, this queen, queen of Wands. She's got a lot of work to do. This Queen of Pentacles may actually be working on her or needs to work on her stability or something that she's doing, right? Yeah, that's what I see. <laughs> So trip out. So this is strictly love, right? Somebody loves themselves enough to separate themselves from an angry and mad, bitter individual, and they're gonna focus on themselves, right? They're not gonna work on this uh, this relationship or work on themselves because you know they both might have thought something was wrong with them, so they needed both to work on themselves. But to be quite honest with you, I think it's this Queen of Wands that needs to work on herself, needs to work on her healing or whatever, whatnot, right? I don't, I don't. And I don't think she wants to, though. That's the problem. You, it's like you. It's like a person that you say, "Hey, I know things that you can do to help yourself," and then they're like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna do it," and then they don't do it. You know, they say, "Oh, I'm love and light," and they're not. They're darkness and hate. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I see here. And I also see that the tower front and center card, that's what came in for someone. And, you know, if that doesn't trigger anybody in changing themselves because of anger or whatever, then I don't know what will, you know. <clears throat> so I also have, these are the uh, power of surrender cards. I am going to go, these have been uh, shuffled, but I, I need to shuffle one more time. Because that's how these cards work. You shuffle three times, you spread them out, and then you pull out the card, right? So that was the third shuffle I just did. Let's go ahead and spread them out so I can grab one. I think I'm going to grab one from here. And this is what I got. Look at that. Surrender to spirit. You know what? If you need healing, this is the way to do it. Swear. Um, somebody here is not surrendering to spirit. I think it's that, you know, queen of wands in the reverse. She doesn't want to heal. She doesn't want to fix herself. She thinks everything is perfect in her life. It's not. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. But if you're not going to work on yourself at all, Spirit's not going to help. Spirit just doesn't, you know, give out like that. You have to show spirit that you love yourself. You love spirit. You love, you know, life. You're working on yourself. You're helping yourself. That's when spirit steps in and says, hey, you are deserving of whatever this is, right? Let's grab another card because I feel that was specifically for that Queen of Wands in the reverse. Surrender to effortlessness, and I'm glad I grabbed another card because once this Queen of uh, Pentacles is able to effortlessly let this other individual go in a nice way, you know, not being mean, you know, just you know, hey, I don't think it's gonna work out, you know, me, us hanging out, whatever. I think you know, everything is going to be effortless for this individual, especially love. Remember, we saw the lover's card, strictly love. So once a person can learn how to communicate and, you know, not show any hate or resentment, just be kind, you know, even when you're trying to tell someone off, you can tell them off in a nice way without, you know, without even hurting feelings. That's possible. Yes. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force a river, right? So you can't force a person to change. You can't force a person to heal. But you can move on and you can do what's right for you. And I do feel that this is for the Queen of Pentacles and you're doing the right thing, working on yourself. Don't waste your time on trying to help others heal. As long as you can heal yourself, work on yourself, a spirit is happy with that. And I think, you know, the divine will... Um, help you to move forward triumphantly and happily because you're doing the right thing. You're, you're being, you know, you're going with the flow. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, strictly love, it was not, but there was love. And in order to get that love, you have to let go of things that are not loving. 
right? You're only as good as the people you're around. If you're around a bunch of hateful, angry individuals, well, that's, you know, we tend to, uh, things tend to rub off on us when we're around people, right? Their actions, the way they are. And so the best thing for this Queen of Pentacles to do was to remove herself from the situation so she can move forward effortlessly and find love. And I think that's what's coming her way. If you, if you are resonating with the Queen of Pentacles and you haven't cut loose somebody who's just angry and mad and just in your energy like that, trust that if you can release that person from your energy effortlessness in your life will come in love will come in and everything will be cool you know but i do feel here this hermit somebody's just trying to figure out how to do it someone's just tr trying to figure out how to bring that effortlessness to their life and basically it's to remove toxic situations toxic people from your life you know all right you guys so yeah that's all i have uh, for this Strictly Love reading. Um, if it resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the videos. Somebody might be enlightened by them, right? Also, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time.